Hi everyone, I'm Ross Hero, Weird Homes Tour Virtual Austin 2020. I am here with Randy Indra's A Warehouse. This is the location. Do you want to let's start? Tell us a little bit about Indra's A Warehouse. Well, welcome. Indra's A Warehouse is named after Indra's Net, where it's a glittering jeweled net. Everyone is part of it. You, me, the things we do, the places we go. And a change in one is a change in all. And that's what Indra's Net is about. So we named it Indra's A Warehouse so that we can learn more about arts and culture and just move forward creating a beautiful humanity together. I love that. So is this kind of a, a community space? Is this a space? Talk to me a little bit about kind of if you have a, a mission or a philosophy around the space itself. It is a community space. It is centered around growing culture and supporting artists in every way. So we are basically a sacred geometry collective. We're, be we're beginning the Ministry of Sacred Geometry and we're welcoming all kinds of creators, thinkers, new humanity, um, inventors, and that includes arts and sciences. All creatives are welcome here at Indra's A Warehouse. And maybe we should pan around and start with this structure right here. Can yeah. you tell me and the viewers a little bit about this structure? Yes, this is our beautiful wooden dome. And it is sort of based after Buckminster Fuller's concepts that we are able to use tensegrity to engage in a new kind of architecture, including like cultural architecture and the way that people work together and the way that we share resources and the way that we can communicate to build. So this is our small example of just how much magic can happen when you have new concepts and you support a new sort of way of building together. And we use this for little ceremonies. We sit out in the night and stargaze. We hold um, little fire ceremonies. At, uh, I bet you have pretty good clarity out here. Do you have much light pollution it's out okay. here? You know, we are actually on a major thoroughfare. This MLK turns into 969 and then 183. So at times there's a lot of traffic, but at night it's really quiet. Well, we have a lot to see. So I'm going to follow you. Why don't we keep going through the home? garden and we did some stair stepping and some hugel culture <laughs> by putting some uh, branches and straw i want you to check out this precious little guy it's our oh, little back, little yeah. meditating gnome awesome, with the bird and the beard uh -huh. and so we've we've begun planting we have about 20 different kinds of peppers different uh, types of peppers from all over the world, some herbs, some squash. Is there so? Is there a, is there kind of an angle of even like sustainability out here for the community, or or you know like growing your own food and vegetables and things like that? Absolutely, I've pretty much taken up a lot of my square footage with this giant building that we have. But um, just wait we've, and see. We've it's awesome. <laughs> But we filled out as much as we can here in the back for the garden and we want to share the produce from the garden and we've, we've uh, begun to plant our fall starts and really we're a teaching facility so we're here to like make videos like you are now so that people can learn um, not only what we do but what other communities do and if there are other places that are building sustainable places like uh, eco cities, eco villages, even little collectives in a house with a yard. We want to feature you in our m uh, motives to show uh, with this game that we're creating. That I'll tell you about okay, inside. Excited. So yeah. I've heard a little bit about it, but I want I want to get the, the the full angle on it. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, beautiful. So let's turn around. I'll show you this. Uh, I have one question before we move on. Uh -huh. Did you pl plant? intentionally plant bamboo or did you plant one and then it became a bajillion because it's like a I, weed right it is it's it, it overgrows and it keeps trying to creep up but um no this was here when i when i got the place it's beautiful and i loved the that i it was just a tiny house that really most people would have torn down but i built the larger metal building as an addition 
and we definitely lived in every room of this tiny house. So, we so you're going to see, we're going to go inside, you know, and get to the, the crown jewel of the tour, if you will. Um, but you built all of that then, like when we go in there. So the big space is something that you built kind of completely from scratch. Yep. Because I asked, I thought maybe you got it as a barn and then, but, but it's completely built up. Yep. Nine years ago, I made the huge decision. I, I had a person who is very near and dear to my heart who passed away and said, Hey, go do your art dream. And so she helped me begin this. And, um, I had lots of people that said, you're in over your head. Why don't you just buy a regular house? And I was like, I'm a painter. This is my one chance to do something with my life. So, um, regular I houses also don't make it on the weird homes tour. <laughs> so let's just call it, let's just call it like, well, I'm, let's follow you. And I can't, I, I want to see the space. I've had a sneak peek, but just wait, it's going to be awesome. Fall start, it's all warm and moist in here, and we actually have some actually sprouting up already. I'm so surprised. I actually just felt a heat wave come through when you opened that. It's oh. Definitely... oh, that's so exciting! Yeah. That's the first little fall ones I've seen. <laughs> Let's go up this way, and I'll take you through our little kitchen. It's a small place, but a lot of good stuff happens in here. So, there's some tight spaces as we go in, but there's a lot to see. So, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. We've got our calendar and some notes when we're sitting having dinner together. We've got some. I'm a, I'm a whiteboard sucker also, so I get it. Yeah, so this is our kitchen and we often have meetings in here. We share food and um, there's about eight people living here now. So depending on the day, we may be making lots of different things. Um, is there a desire to grow that or is like eight feel comfy for the space? Eight is comfy for the space. What we what we are growing are the surrounding uh, communities, sister sites, and just connection throughout the city with people. Are those adjacent to this space or are they kind of like all over, but they're influenced, if you will, by your, your energy and your spirit and the thing that you're doing here? Yeah, the community is grand and um, I'm definitely open to support to grow nearby. Cool. You know, I would I would very much like to do that and it would make a lot of sense compared, you know, considering all the stuff. We're doing. Makes it easier for sure. Yeah. All right. Were well, you ready to, to uh, I'm following you. Sure. Okay. okay. Come on into this big space. Okay, here we go. I mean, big space is like an understatement. It doesn't even do it justice. So this is where we will usually sign in and people will come to do ecstatic dance and they'll donate in a box. Can I can I ask uh, this is maybe a dumb dumb okay. question, which most of mine are Ecstatic dance, did you say? Is that can you talk to me a little bit about what that is? I love I love okay. nothing more than Good. to talk about ecstatic dance. Okay. Ecstatic dance is simply a container for people. We have a DJ and we have, um, you know, maybe 20 to 50 people and you're just free to move in any way that you want. It's no judgment. It's, it's, um, it's no alcohol and even no talking. It's mm. like the space is set so that you can connect with your body and your soul and just shake out all of the very expressive weeks, and whatever yeah. stress and whatnot and celebrate together being alive. I need more dance with no judgment. So that sounds really good <laughs> for someone like me. So that sounds awesome. Yes, please cool. Come. You're yeah. Come. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so people can come in and I'm a painter so we have lots of artwork. Um, Jordan is also a painter and we have live painters at events um we have like lots with the live painting is that a similar type of approach to the to the ecstatic dancing where it's kind of just however the the spirit the whatever moves you with the painting or is it yeah. can you talk to me a little bit about that yeah it's one of our great passions to just be in a space where the music and the people are alive and feeling it and creating and the energy is palpable. Have you been able to keep that kind of going, you know, now with, with the with the pandemic going on and the lack of the ability to have physical events, if you will, have you been mm -hmm. able to kind of translate that to an online space? Yes, we have transformed ourselves uh, really in a way that we were going anyway, but, you know, out of necessity, we were doing live ecstatic dances. So we would kind of mirror the couple few people that were dancing and promoted online and then we ha are s we are a new media and broadcasting company Indra's Net Media Indra's Net Media 
And so we're here to film bands and broadcast them on a wonderful platform. Awesome. Get out to all kinds of, of channels. This space, I'm seeing, uh, you know, this fabric here uh, and this, this, for lack of a better, a hoop here and, and a rope there. So are there, are, does this move up and down? Is this an aerial type of performance also? Yeah, we're so happy that we have many aerial points. We used to have three. The ceiling's 31 feet tall. And so we have silks. We have a, a lira hoop for aerial artists. And we have um, a hammock. We have other, a new stage which supports um, lots of different theatrical possibilities. The stage here, the DJ booth, there's a dance space up, up top and several aerial apparatus uh, points there. And you, and again, you, you, this is all something you built, right? I mean, this, uh, yeah. This is what we built, yeah, friends and, and people that want to help uh, just over time, you, often using reclaimed materials. And yeah, um, yeah I'm yeah, very, I mentioned very grateful for the, like, the, specifically the dance floor and the aerial came early. I went to a show for Crash Alchemy at the Paramount Theater and I was so moved by the whole thing. I think there's a part of me that's like, I want to do that, but I didn't <laughs> do that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I invited them to come practice here. And so that began uh, you know, years of dance troops, and uh, now we have Star Force stage, and we're partnering with Disco Nap and other music and entertainment. It's yeah. growing. the The synapses, if you will, are connecting, and the network is growing, which Absolutely. is which is awesome. And that's what we always love for these part these communities. Not only just a home, right, but the communities that are part of Weird Homes Tour. I mean, mm -hmm. in Austin especially. We love for, to hear that stuff's growing. And, and what we're doing too is we're supporting like bigger broadcasts like the International Children's Month is this month. And so on September 16th, we'll be hosting the introductions to lots of um, panel discussions and- And you'll be doing that in this space? We'll be doing I mean, why not? It's a fan, I mean, a it's lot, huge. A lot of it will be um, taped and recorded and sent in, but then a lot of it will be uh, introduced and we'll, We'll have some jugglers and some aerial artists and some stuff to keep it really fun for the kids. Um, River Jordan is making an amazing meditation storytelling for the kids. Awesome. Um, it's, it's just fantastic to be able to be involved with heart-centered people that are doing things for, you know, world I mean, change. that's fulfilling, right? And that's a big part even like Weird Home Store we talk about. Like, it's kind of this philosophical aspect from David and Shelley of creating this, of like encouraging people, just like you've talked about a couple times, to to like almost, I say the weird, but like embrace the weird, right? And I say weird in quotes, but just to embrace the things that bring you joy. And, uh, and sometimes people external, like you said, when you were thinking about doing this project, it's too big, it's too crazy, why not get a regular house? Well, sometimes you just gotta reach and go for the weird, right? Because that's what brings you joy. And I think that's really important. You talked about reclaimed, using reclaimed materials. I'm gonna look at this stairway up here. Yeah. So this was used using reclaimed material, correct? That's right. So back in the day when we were beginning, I was always hounding the free Craigslist ads. So the buy nothing groups. I'll show you over here. It's, it's, uh, our aerial ropes over here, and you can see from the side that they're built in another way. So these are 300 reclaimed hollow wooden doors that no one should ever build with because hollow wood is not structurally sound. But I was so don't Don't do this at home. Don't no, do no, this no. at home, yeah. yeah. I was so in need of getting stairs so that I could go upstairs and build the bedrooms for my kids and I that um, I kept hounding my architectural friends and um, they said, no, 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 we can't like build it like a house of cards. And then one day I came home and they said, thought of a way. So we glued them together and put metal on the top, and nice. they Fantastic. actually have withstood like eight years of heavy use. So it's just one of those Ooh. fun things. I don't feel unsafe on them. That's no, sure. they're not it's unsafe not, I mean, at all. Wrong. Yeah. And and please take a look at the paintings. That's one of my starscapes. It it it's a light reactive painting. 
Center, and, and all of these are available. This is um, a fun Grateful Dead live painting that's <laughs> also live awesome. reacted. Here's a, a live painting that was done at Empire Control Room. Have you been a painter your whole life? I have. Yeah. I've been a painter my entire life and supported my family doing that. It's that's awesome. such a blessing to be part of, you know. Some people, the on. bug bites them, you know, later on in life, but it's, a, I mean, it's inspiring either way, whether you do it your whole life or you start up late. I think it's, you know, oh, it's yeah. awesome. I encourage everyone to start painting and, and uh, I'd be happy to do lessons for paintings too. We're going to do a lot of kids lessons and nice. uh, yeah. up kids lessons for painting. On, would that be done online and, uh, or available online and in person or? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Both. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, so these are fun. These are um, interdimensional being portraits that I did as a collaboration with my friend Holly Raja. And, um, you know, these days and age, we're realizing that we're not the only planet in the universe. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so absolutely. So it's, a, it's one of my very pride and joy oh, This spots. is a cool space. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So my, our bedrooms are up here, and here's an icosahedron dome. Oh, oh that man. Was out of the bamboo in the backyard. And that was, it used to be on the ground floor as a bedroom for those architecture people that I was it's talking awesome. about. Awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. And here's our meditation space. I do something called Anuhatra, which is um, burning a little fire in a copper pyramid in the, m in the dawn and the dusk. And so you meditate with the fire and um, we have some meditation pillows for people that want to join in. This is another live painting from a conference that we all is all dear to us. Um, it was shut down this year, but hopefully they'll start it back up. And I know that everyone involved in Voice and Exit, or what later became known as Future Frontiers, will be um, creating lots of beautiful technology and inspiration for yeah, this is this is just such a cool little, you know, space here. Thank you so so yeah. much. Here's our little succulent start, and then oh, we'll go outside to little more plants, and you can just kind of have a bird's eye view of the garden. Yeah. Sometimes I gotta think that bamboo probably also helps. I don't know if you have any neighbors around you, but it's probably be a nice kind of like sound buffer. Too, a little it bit. It is, and that's important. That's one of the things that we um, really stay mindful of as a residential, even though we're by the highway. Um, that's why I have giant bales of brown hay in the front. Oh, they're, they're <laughs> functional. They're functional. That's, you know, we tried all kinds of things. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Great. Go back inside yeah. And I'll show you my uh, crystal singing bowl. Oh. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Hold on. Should I close this behind me? Okay. 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 Oh. Oh, yeah. It smells really good in here, too, I gotta say. Yeah. We have a lot of improv and alternative sounds and um, sound healing here. So, one of the things that I love to share and let everyone know that you can find these for them and sell them. They're crystal pyramids that are meant to tune your chakras and people can stand under them. If you'd like to stand under it, I'll yeah. read it for you. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna, I want to give you all the fun experiences. Yeah. I, mean, I like this. This is calming. Cool. I'm not going to lie. That's true. I might get you up on the aerial rigs. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is lovely. Can I ask you a question? So I know you talked about you are becoming or in the process of, of the, uh, I don't, don't keep me, Church of S is it Sacred Geometry? That's right. Is that the right? The Ministry of Sacred Geometry. And I noticed, obviously, here we have a structure you know, above mm -hmm. the bed. Um, can you tell me a little bit about, about that, I guess, the, high-level philosophy of the sacred geometry aspect and that kind of thing or, or, or why this is why the structure is here what yeah, benefits it has absolutely so I'm a real really passionate person about free energy and just acknowledging that we are all made of energy we're all structurally 
dimensionally the same as everything else. And they, you know, every year we're finding out more and more about the nature of sacred geometry. So platonic solids make up everything. The light particles that we see are tetrahedrons. And the, um, our brains fire in neuronic fashion, creating actual uh, platonic solid structures. Or, you know, it goes from triangle to square to in dimensional. I think I'm entry level. I do some mindfulness meditation, mm -hmm. right? And I know that, again, the, the, but I do feel I am also a kind of believer in the, the, the energies aspect, right? Mm -hmm. that, we're, that we're connected and I, that there's this kind of universal connectivity that's that's grounded in in our energies and things like that. So so I'm 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 vibing on what you're talking about, right? I don't I don't meditate nearly as much as I should, but uh, you well, know. I'm a, I'm a beginner too, you know. Where it doesn't really matter as long as you're just paying attention to your heart and listening to really what each person is feeling that's more important than listening to what the outside says i think that's kind of part that. of what drew me to meditation also is that it, it is kind of like a this is a no judgment type of thing you're you're forever almost on a path of kind of a beginner if you will exactly. you know you're always experimenting and it's not about that you didn't do it enough or you didn't do it it's that you're con you, that it's a continual that you're growing continually that's so. really the whole point is that and for us together to just commune and celebrate being alive, like it's almost like we get to say, we don't know everything. Yeah. Yay. Let's, and that's OK. Let's experience it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, this, yeah. Thank you for letting I'll me come you, into the. I'll take you through um, over here, too. I love the never ending story. And like I said, oh, yeah. So these are like a take on the oracles. And then here oh. I tried my hand at building a. Whoa. <laughs> in the shower? Yeah. Okay. I didn't take the time to cut the tile uh, oh, yeah. as, a, a, you know, but I did. I like how you say, I like how she says, I attempted. And her attempt is like 10,000 times better than anything that I would do. So, <laughs> I mean, it's just like, it's awesome. Well, we actually found the tile at the Habitat Restore. And when I saw that it was like this blue lapis color with all these Egyptian. Um, emblems on it i just flipped out yeah. so i i got it right then and there and then i stored it under a tree for like three years and then i finally was like you know if if i would just make that shower <laughs> so then i did the, the slate part at the bottom and then the, waited another six months and i was like you know if i would just make that shower <laughs> i'd be able to shower up here you know i would think though looking at this there i would not have thought like this so this is all sourced from the restore mm -hmm. I mean, there's no way. Like, there's no way I would have like, like said, "Oh, this is all stuff that you've cobbled together." If that makes like, it goes together so nicely, it it works. So, Weird. thanks, Restore. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got yeah. Isis and Ra as the Egyptian uh, people in the in the center. Just a reminder yeah. of the the sun and our energy. And here is a sink that I made. I want to tell you about. Ooh. It's a. Um, it's a poured concrete sink, and I used jeweler's wax on a board to build the wax up so that it would look like it's been here for eons, um, eroding away at the stone. So it's really not hard to make your own countertops and sinks, although I found out that concrete is really heavy, and that's why I didn't keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. That was hard. You learned that the hard way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is the second really cool sink. Weirdly enough, we saw a really cool sink at the Aqua House. It was like a throwback. I don't even know what it was, like a farmer sink or something, but it was, it was pretty bananas. So love a good sink. I don't know why. It's just a, a, a functional but cool thing. All right. All right, so we'll follow your lead on out here. Well, just to talk more about the Ministry of Sacred Geometry, um, many people have heard of like a Merkaba, mm -hmm. maybe? So it's using the platonic solid, the tetrahedron going down and tetrahedron going up. And you spin that bottom one counterclockwise and the top one clockwise. Of course, this is all made of metal and it was a commission that we had built for a very wonderful party um, for the Mueller Law Firm. And you can have three dancers dancing in here at once. 
and it swivels on the top and it actually shines light out of the prisms on the side. Oh yeah, so I see. Well yeah, on the on the at the point, right? Yes, it was wonderful to produce that party, the entertainment for that party with Ministry of Muse. And um, it's one of my most favorite yeah. apparatuses ever to get to dance on, to be in a star spinning and seeing the happy people dancing was below. It, was it nerve wracking? Like, I mean, I know you said Ted was commissioned, but I've worked on projects where you have some like big thing like this and you're so nervous about how it's going to turn out. I'm and nervous that it will get finished. <laughs> oh yeah, that's you know, it. The party's that one day and you're like, but yeah. Um, Bobby McDonald made it, and I'm so grateful. I actually didn't worry that much because he's a very wonderful <laughs> artist. But yeah, that's natural, natural yeah. part of it. That's awesome. We can kind of get a little bird's eye view of the of the large space too over here. That's for you. And we do sacred sound healing and the reverberations of the didgeridoo and the sound bowls and um, really all kinds of instruments. Yeah. People can relax and just feel all of these reverberations healing them and they can go on these meditation journeys. And then here I have Rose That's Petal. nice. That even sounds like, you know, I... I I mentioned how I how I do m meditation, it's even like kind of some of those like, you know, those background sounds that you can get and you know to help you. Yeah. Just kind exactly. of focus a little more, connect. Uh -huh. And that's the heart bowl. And here's the crown. <laughs> Studios in these rooms as you look forward. Um, they'll have a space for theatrical and dance. And then behind it will be a room so that we can hold classes and um, have office spaces for broadcasting. We're supporting and encouraging everyone to take note that some of the corporations. Um, you know, we're all we're all transforming. So the bigger corporations are going out, and the uh, the more free movement for owning your own data. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And allowing everyone to have sovereign rights as creators. Each person, every person is a creator. That's one of the main things I want to bring to community and to the city is that every person is creator. Every person has a place to create together, to work together. We I all think something to contribute. I mean, sometimes people, you don't, like I mentioned, I asked you if you've been a painter your whole life. Some people, for a while I ran an, an arts nonprofit and uh, I definitely heard stories of people who, you know, one day they wake up and they give it a try and it transforms their life completely, mm -hmm. you know? And so sometimes you don't find that, you don't know the calling, right? Um, and you got to, I think that's part of uh, even getting connected with organizations or community groups or, and trying it, like, it's not going to hurt to try something, you know? Absolutely. And I actually didn't know my calling as a technologist and as a creator and visionary for new technology. Um, and yet by, by being in this space and, and knowing more people, we've actually been able to contribute um, to hackathons and contribute to, you know, new ways to own your own data and to use blockchain to grow human value rather than be part of like the petrochemical war problem and all of these, you know, technology problems. for technology for good, you know, technology and for yeah, good, as yeah. opposed to technology just for profit. And essentially, we are, you know, we're human beings. We're in the structure that we're made of, in the structure of the world and the universe. So we are sacred geometry, just yeah. we are already. I want to show you a t-shirt and I want to okay. also bring you over to our office space sure. where we're creating uh, this amazing game called Civil X. I've heard a little bit about that. So I think, yeah, let's look at a t-shirt. Let's talk about that. Let's move along for sure. Wonderful. Let's see, we have some t-shirts that are um, the interdimensional beings, which I love. 
and I like to cut them up for my friends and nice. make them all fancy. Um, do you sc do you by chance screen print these or anything yourself, or you have them made? Well, we have a local friend, um, United Festival Outfitters, that printed these for us, and so and then my son. Oh, that's cool. Made a kaleidoscopic version of our uh, that's this guy up here, right? Logo. That's that. Yeah, that's, that? that's that's our Indra's a warehouse logo and the Internet Media. And let's see, you might be able to see this cream-colored one is better. It, yeah, so it's like a kind of kaleidoscope. Yeah. We've got lots of different colors. There's a purple one. Very cool. All right, so it's the concept, you know, Indra's Net. We're all individuals and we're seeing each other and helping each other. Let's see what's happening over here. Hi, River Jordan. Mm, hey. Ah, you have a little puppy with you. <laughs> Yay. Oh, puppy. Here's it's our new he member is. of the family. Yeah. There's Lobo. Lobo knows everyone. Mm -hmm. He greets everyone at the parking lot. He knows hundreds and hundreds of people. And he's the guard. He's a tank. Yeah, yeah. He lets us know when everyone's coming. There you go. Good to have that. I want to hold the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Puppies. Uh -oh. so this is this is my partner River Jordan in mm -hmm. Indra's Net Media, and he is an amazing creator. Who's yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I want you to tell them all about Civil X because yes. it's pretty much the most fantastic thing that's ever happened. Yeah, talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, I've always had this dream and this vision, and Randy shares it too, and that's why we work so well together. That through a combination of diverse people with uh, different backgrounds and different skills, if we come together and we work from a heart space, that there's nothing that we can't do or solve or complete. And so we've always believed that like through dance and movement that a scientist and an artist or somebody that's an environmentalist and somebody who's a technician can come together and really uh, solve a lot of the world's problems. I, I had mentioned to Randy that for a while I, um, I was executive director and president of an arts nonprofit and people would always come up to me and ask me, are you an artist? And, and I would say no in the classical sense that they were all painters and things like that. And I said, but I, I do like to call myself a creative and I'm a big yes. believer that, you know, encouraging the arts and creativity it's not about whether or not your son or daughter becomes necessarily a painter. That would be great if they do. But it's about like flexing that, that creative muscle. Yes. And that if, if they think creatively, maybe they become an architect, maybe they become an engineer, but they have that creative muscle. And that creative muscle can get plugged in to solve problems, exactly. so, have, create unique solutions that we need. We don't need the same old answers or, or solutions we got big problems that, that we have that we have ahead of us for sure exactly and so what we've thought is that through these big problems sometimes it can seem like it's a lot or it can be overwhelming so instead of like this is something you have to solve or sometimes it can seem even too big to solve what we've created is a video game where it's gamified mm -hmm. so problems can be put onto the game and then whole groups of kids adults teens can come together and bring that creative muscle they have whether it's in architecture or whether you know they love gaming themselves or they're an artist we can come together and it's gamified so instead of yeah. being something that you have to solve it's something that's fun and you get to do it with your friends and so along with being a media company there are many sectors of our society so in our civil x game we have a will that you can choose from and maybe you're in media like you maybe you're in relations science spirituality arts economics governments uh, education uh, health, infrastructure, justice, there's many different sections of the wheel where people can come onto the game and decide which part of the wheel they want to be, and then any problem gets surrounded by the whole wheel. So there's no just one person looking at the problem to be It's solved. kind of looking at it maybe a little more holistically, kind of looking at how they in, like interconnect and how maybe some solutions can, you wouldn't even know, spill over to help solve something else. You know, it's like, the I guess maybe the concept of if we do solve some of our um, uh, uh, environmental problems, you solve a lot of the poverty problems. Exactly. You know, they that do kind of spill, thing. and they're all connected. Yeah. And that's how that's how everything works in nature. Everything is diverse. You know, the woods, the soils, the animals, they all spill into each other. And so we're kind of just watching nature and building our game around that. Awesome. And so as people come in, performers, scientists, inventors, we film them, we take their solutions, and then we enter them into these different playlists. And mm. you can just click on the relations. 
and then we have people's videos and so different people can come in and film and produce their solutions and then we allow people to have access to these resources kind of like crowds crowdsourcing essentially the knowledge and 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 i guess the attempt to fix and come up with these ideas for these solutions exactly and making awesome. it fun and making it beautiful adding art incredible music so it's an enjoyable experience also it kind of makes it into a more viewable experience when a problem can seem so big you know when you have a little chessboard in front of you and you can see the whole playing field you have a little bit more strategy for how we're going to uh, move through this life so that's the so cool. purpose and of it's so lives. it's just such an interesting i guess ex i say expansion to to what this whole space is all about right and and i think we had a chance to talk a little bit just about obviously the challenges we have right now in a covid world and things moving digital you know um i guess people becoming more accepting weirdly enough of di things happening digitally and connecting digitally and things like that so this is just such a cool again extension i feel like of the philosophy that you guys bring to this space so uh how can someone find out about this or learn more so um they can visit the website, which is civilx.world, and from there they can connect, they can plug in, and then also any of our websites, um, indrasnetmedia.com, uh, uh, actually it's indrasnet.media, Indra's Indra's and then indras.house. All of these websites, you can get in contact with us, learn more about the game, or any of our projects or media that we have going on. That's awesome. Well, guys, I, I've loved being here. Is there anything, any, any other spaces that you want to share with me before, before we, uh, we, we call it a day? Sure. I would like to show you our water station okay. over here. Cool. I love a good water station. And, and, um, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It has to do also with the whole concept of sacred geometry mm. because we are all made of water. And the, this is uh, a very special technology. It's GANS structured water. Okay. So this, is, this white layer is an electromagnetic vortex. And it's made with copper wire and a zinc plate and salt water. So it's basically like a battery that structures water. You can see it a little better here. And... Um, so we put distilled water in there and allow it to settle. The GAN structures the water perfectly. And this water is actually um, antiviral. It helps with all blood levels. Um, it, it's like a great healer and you can research it on your own. Um, there's a Facebook group called the Golden Age of GANs. And so we just went into full-time production mode and um, have started using this water so we have it available for people that want to come enjoy dancing and um, we also have it available over here bottled in our indrasnet.media store we have um, the GAN structured bottled water we have some awesome coloring books that are um, all <laughs> positive affirmations and we have this ozone oil that I make. I have an uh, oxygen accumulator and an ozonator who tur turns oxygen into the triox molecule, which is antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal. It's safe for any part of your skin, and it's a miraculous healer. There's all kinds of uh, European places. Um, it's, it's really unknown in the U.S. Yeah. because the FDA classifies it as a poisonous gas, but don't worry, mm. this is all legal. <laughs> Um, also, we have some ways to prevent EMFs from uh, oh, yeah. pelting your body from your cell phone, your computer, et cetera. Are those, what, what are those stickers? Are they like, yeah, they're little they're like stickers. Tokens? They're little stickers that we sell and put on your phone and your oh. computer, and it just nullifies some of that radiation. Um, we have some more T-shirts. My son makes awesome little sculptures with his 3D printers. I can't get over this uh, ah. Darth. Zen Buddha. Darth. <laughs> Darth Vader was not so Zen. Let me just say, I, I think he was a uh, he was a little more aggressive than probably most Zens would uh, Zen Buddhists would would recognize. Here's a poster of our Awakening 2020 New Year's party, and uh, I have a time capsule with all of the posters and things that we've done over the years. Here's a way to donate and buy art with all of the paintings. We've got all these um, prints. The paintings. 
And uh, going. Is there, if you want to get on this, yeah, the, just the their li Instagram and it. their Facebook. And also, just going forward um, with the Ministry of Sacred Geometry, um, we're actually banding together with sister sites and land projects all over Austin mm -hmm. and even na nationally. Um, so we'll be able to help people find places to live, hmm. to build their own homes at a That's reasonable price, like an ecologically sound home that has solar and you can grow greens on the inside. And That's it's huge. Be like 500 bucks a month. Or For anyone out there watching, you know, uh, Austin for the last however many years has been a top 10 place, the number one place to live. But what a lot of people don't realize is that uh, the homelessness issue is something that is very real and a real challenge here in Austin. So that's all that's commendable. And I also will say one of the nonprofits should, uh, you know, I want to mention that Weird Homes Tour partners with is uh, LifeWorks Austin. And they are really on a mission to help prevent the youth homelessness. Um, and they do some great, great work. So just want to give them a shout out again. LifeWorks Austin. Absolutely. We'll be contacting them to see how we can help. They're so great. I, I, I got a chance to actually interview their executive director and they just, they're, they're so positive and, and I could I could tell just like her energy. She was so invested in the cause. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like you said, like the power through collaboration. So if you guys can collaborate, I mean, that that can make any initiative that much better. And we, we, we also can collaborate and coordinate with Save the Food Austin, a local nonprofit that um, takes the food that would be thrown away from smaller grocery stores and recycles it and helps the homeless and other you know, community. Awesome. Yeah, food waste is also very real. I mean, here, but in every city, for that matter. And the fact is that the larger grocery chains do not recycle, um, and they're just too much yeah. for one, for, for Save the Food to do. So if someone out there were able to help them grow and get more coolers and maybe some staff, because he does it all by himself mm. um, with volunteers, that would be a really wonderful thing. I also want to mention that we are a nonprofit we are a collective of nonprofits, and we're basically just connecting, calling, Zooming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Social new, media. New um, Zooming is the new norm. Yeah, yeah, one of our partners with, with the Civil X Project is doing a new social media called Float. Oh. You know, no censorship. You know, the, Very cool. This is our motto, yeah. and we'll, we'll be coming through with a really amazing broadcast. It's a traveling tour um, called Trail to Freedom. And we'll be stopping here for four or five days, um, mid-October, to just discuss what platform do we want as a as for humanity, sure. aside from any partisan. Yep, throwing that out, yeah. You know, so we're really I want to get one more just shot of the space here, and I just want to ask you: Are there any kind of final thoughts, last words, if you will, that you want to leave with the viewers of the video about? you know, Indra's a warehouse or, you know, anything and everything you guys are doing. Thank you. We're really growing. Um, we're really growing in a way that I'm, that is sacred and that is welcoming to all people. We are engaging with primordial flow and a land project so that we can offer healing to people that need therapy, uh, the people that are being rescued people that are just coming to realize they need help. And so it's not just an arts collective for DJs and, yeah. and painters. It's, it's really a place for a community that has a heart to create the, n the new earth. <laughs> and I think that's something right now, you know, in an election year, certainly living in the world that we live in now, we have very real problems. I think we have such divisive uh, groups and communities and I think it is just really nice to see an organization and even by extension the structure that is really working to bring people together um, you know and try to come up with some creative solutions and and also let me just say just sort of like creative celebration too mm -hmm. I think that's something it's I mean it's a challenging time right now and I think you know you need to find ways to find joy I've met, I talked about Absolutely this before and that. I think you guys seem to be bringing a lot of joy into this space and so um, how can people again throw out the websites again? Just one last thing, and then we'll uh, we'll let everyone get along and check out all, all the other homes on on the virtual tour. 
Awesome. So uh, it's indras.house. You can find us um, as Indras A Warehouse on Facebook. You can go to indrasnet.media to see our store and our broadcasting videos and how that grows. You please contact us if you are a band or a musician that wants support. And if you have workshops that you would like to be filmed to get broadcasted onto many channels. Um, we are the World Improvement Nonprofit and um, an arts nonprofit, Art Randy. Is, it's, it's all available and we're just here to teach people to have a reverence for life, to breathe every breath and commune together so that we can free our hearts and therefore trust one another to work together and build new spaces. Well, it was awesome being here. I had such a joy meeting you and hearing the story about the space. Um, I encourage you to check out Indra's A Warehouse everywhere that she mentioned on the net. And thank you again for joining us. I hope to see you next year on the absolutely. Weird Homes Tour. Let's and party. good luck with Let's everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you.